So for this enzyme to operate, it will need to 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 make a complex with the the, the with the substrate. So uh, see here, this is a substrate, and this is the active site of the enzyme, and this one is enzyme substrate complex, like this one. I think you are seeing here. This is simple. So enzyme working enzyme working model. I told you that a catalyzed enzyme. Let me try to, to zoom in. Are you seeing here? Are you seeing this slide? Yes. Okay. Yes. So here we have uh, uh, this uh, figure here. This is the energy, this is the, the progressing of a reaction. With the, this is the reaction. With Without the enzyme, enzyme action, or without being catalyzed by the enzyme, the reaction will come like this, which means the consumption of the energy will be high like this one. So this is without enzymatic activity. But with the enzyme activity, the, the curve will be like this one. It means that the energy is not consumed. There's no energy because the enzyme facilitated the reaction activity. The enzyme catalyzed, enzyme accelerated the rate of activity, which means once the enzymes are there, once the enzymes are helping in the, the react, uh, activity reaction, there will be no consumption of energy. But once there is no enzyme intervention, then the this uh, cell will use a lot of energy another example is here this is a uh, uh, enzymes uh, there is a an, an active site so this enzyme will be uh, this is a substrate so the substrate will be conjugated to the active site of the enzyme and then substrate is converted to the product this is the uh, the product are released, and the, once product are released, you see the glucose. Uh, this will really accelerate or facilitate the breakdown of glucose and the fructose. This and then it will be liberated. The, the same thing here. This is the same example. Like this is an enzyme. This is the substrate. How the enzyme will bind the substrate. So it, this is the same example. <coughs> I told you about the, the use of energy, for example, another example. So without the enzyme, this lactose, how to be metabolized. So this lactose will use a lot of energy. You see this man here is pushing hard to climb this mountain. So it's, it, it, this man is using a lot of energy, which means this is glucose, fructose to eat for uh, be broken down into glucose and the galactose, this, this, this lactose will use a lot of energy because there is no intervention of enzyme activities. But once there is enzyme like lactase, this lactase will help the breakdown of the uh, galacto lactose into glucose and the galactose. See here, the man now the man is pushing the, the ball without using a lot of energy. Can see here because there is a herb of that. Yes, the slide is not changing. The slide is not changing. Yeah, we are not seeing that one. Yeah, we are now. Now you are seeing are it. Now. Okay, yes. I was saying for the you, you see this man. Yes. He's using, he is using a lot of energy to climb this mountain, so to push the ball on this mountain. Let's take it as a mountain. Example of lactose. So without enzyme, without the intervention of enzyme, there will be use of a lot of energy as this man is pushing the ball to climb this mountain. So he will end up by, uh, of course, by breaking down the, lactose into glucose and the galactose but with using a lot of energy 
But if there is a help of enzyme, if there is an enzyme activity, for example, the, you can see here, the man is pushing the ball, but without using any energy, the mountain reduced. Uh, you, see, you know why, why it's because there is intervention, there is an enzyme in, in enzymatic activity. So for example, the lactose here, once there is a lactase, lactase as an enzyme, it will help to break down the lactose into glucose and the galactose. Okay. So there is a, a cataract activity. So what is holoenzymes? Uh, Cataractically act, active enzyme, which is a cofactor uh, complex is called holoenzyme. So this is a, a, a cataract active enzyme where there's a complex, a cofactor complex called holoenzyme. So enzymatic inactive, inactive protein resulting from removal of Hello, enzyme cofactor are referred to as apo, uh, enzymes. Once there is a inactive protein that uh, which will result the removal of uh, an enzyme, it will be called apo enzyme. So, uh, so it is called apo enzyme when there is an inactivated site, uh, when there is an inactivated part. But when there is an activated part, it is also called called hello enzyme. So in bitter, in bitters. So many substances uh, they affect the activity of enzyme by combining it with with it in a way we, that influence the binding of substrate uh, in turnover number. So subst substances that reduce enzyme activity in this way are known as inhibitors. So uh, inhibitors, these is many bitters. They are substances that we affect the substrate enzyme conjugation so they may they may be they may be many uh, factors or many uh, substances that may affect inhibition of enzyme to the substrate Th those are called inhibitors for example a metal methotrexant it's also also called a metoprotein a metopeptin so the chemical resemble to the hydrophorate, uh, this bind tightly to the enzyme, which is uh, the hydrophorate reductase, uh, thereby preventing it from carrying out to normal function. The reduction of the, this one is a chance of cofactor in biosynthesis of the DNA uh, proclisa. So uh, this is an example. This example, which will prevent the binding of substrate to uh, to uh, to the enzyme. So this is an example of an inhibitor. Uh, next question. Yes. I'm not very understand about uh, her enzymes and the up enzymes. Okay. Wait a bit. So you know what is a cofactor? Yes. So a cofactor is a, 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 a nanoprotein part. Yes. Nanoprotein part of enzyme. That is required for enzyme to, to, to do his activity. Okay. Yes, it is. 
So it's complex. It, it's the one called haloenzyme. So it means that it inactivate, uh, let's say, let's we'll take an example, conflict of uh, catalytic enzyme activity, cofactor complex. <coughs> So once this activity is done by this cofactor, once the cofactor is helping the enzyme, only cofactor, this will be called the enzyme. Okay. What this will help to activate the active form, catalytically active enzyme done by a cofactor, which is non protein part of the enzyme it's it's time that that we can say our enzyme so once there is no intervention of her enzyme so once there is no intervention of cofactor once there is a remove a removal of a cofactor or on inactivation of a cofactor. So at the other part of the enzyme, the protein part, it is in the place, then it's inactivated. The cofactor is inactivated. It is called apo enzyme. So you can search the, the, the details. Well, I'll give you the link. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, now I'm gonna get to yeah? one minute. Okay. So, so what is the anterior role? So the non covalent forces through uh, which substrate and the other molecules bind the enzyme are similar to character the first distinct conformation of the protein themselves. So this is the example. This is what I was saying. So they both for uh, this is an example of Van Weibel factor. 
electrolyte hydrogen binding and the, in general substrate binding site consists of an indication or cleft of surface of an enzyme molecule that complementary shape in the substrate even I was there, huh? so this is I told you about this remember I showed you the example of of lock and key so this is a substrate this is an enzyme so how to bind here and the, the complex uh, conjugated the protein and we form two parts so protein part called this so see here the protein part is called apoenzyme and then protein part of cofactor i called hello uh, 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 i called the cofactor and the whole enzyme is called hello uh, enzymes now you understand i think what is protein part is called apoenzyme Nine protein is called the cofactor, and the the, the tuta, the the, the whole enzyme is called halo enzyme. So the cofactor may be a coenzyme that or prosthetic group. Coenzyme is organic or temporal loser attached to the enzyme. This I, I, I think I explained before in the, the introduction. I told you what is a cofactor. I told you what is a coenzyme, and I told you what is a substrate. So this is the repetition. This is saying that coenzyme will really attach and help the enzyme. Okay, so there are fa factors that are affecting the enzymatic activity. So the for the the enzymatic enzymatic activity are affected by many factors. For example, temperature, pH. The, once the temperature is high, it will affect the enzyme activity. Then once it's low, it will also affect the enzyme activity. Uh, the same to the pH, the same, the, the radiation, the light. This radiation and light will affect the enzyme activity. So the act activators, the product concentration, they are inhibitors in the enzyme substrate concentration. Those are the factors that will affect the enzymatic activity. You understand? So the other factor that they didn't mention here is uh, uh, the genetic factor or molecular factor. For example, mutation. Mutation is also another factor that we didn't mention here, but the mutation or the genetic uh, or polymorphism may affect the enzyme activity. For example, uh, the, one of the enzymatic activity is in the drug metabolism. So once there is a defect in the enzymes, or there is a, a, a genetic change, or a, what we call the polymorphism, genetic polymorphism, that is a change in one nucleotide, then the enzyme will change its, its uh, uh, character. The enzyme is not acting as, the, as, as it was supposed to do, then it will not uh, metabolize the drug. I don't know if you understand. Let's take an example of a, a, a certain a particular drug. For example, malaria drug, artesimene. So, you know, we know malaria. You all know malaria. Okay. Uh, are we together? Do you understand what I'm saying?
ndahoze icyo navugaga reka bisubira mu kinyarwanda kugira ngo mwumve neza enzyme kugira ngo zikore hari ibintu byinshi bya intervening cyangwa se bya affecting imikorere yazo nababwi enzyme cyari cyo ko zi ari zituma ha reaction yihuta mu mu body chemical reaction nababwiye ko enzyme ze kugira ngo ikore ibase ibinding to substrate i told you about that so ariko kugira ngo hari factors cyo kwa affecting azino enzyme kugira ngo zikore urugero nka za temperature temperature the ph once temperature rises enzyme activity za gabanuka iyo yongere gutyo ibintu nk'ibyo ngibyo hari za radiation this is radiation light ishora gukora kuri enzyme iga 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 teza biba so all those are the factors that affect in the enzyme activity i think you understand now so the temperature temperature is amuka enzyme activity na ila zamuka cyangwa kamanuka Let's use this example. Shape of curve bear is bear shaped. Most enzymes of human system have the optimum temperature within the range of 34 to 40 degrees. Thus, the optimum temperature is temperature that which the active of enzyme is maximum. So the enzyme, the, the range of this enzyme activity, the, the temperature varies between 34 to 40. So if it is not in the range, then it will affect the activity. For example, once the pH is above, is above uh, 40 degrees, then the enzyme will be denaturated. As we know, the enzymes are the protein. And you know that the protein are denaturated by the heat. So the enzyme will be denaturated. So once they are denaturated, of course, they will not work. So if the temperature is higher than 40 degrees, then the enzyme will be broken down, they will be denaturated. So the pH, of course, the pH, pH is also varies between six and eight. If the pH is low or up, then it will cause a problem. So the enzyme concentration affecting enzyme activity. Of course, the concentration of the enzyme will affect the activity. So once the enzyme concentration is high, then the activity will be high. When the substrate is efficient, the a question. Hmm? Question. Question. When the enzyme concentration is high, and the, the substrate concentration is also high, so the, 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 the reaction will be also will increase because the, the, the substrate, if it is sufficient, it means that the reaction is, will be proportional to the enzyme concentration. If there is a, enough substrate and there is a high concentration of the enzyme, this means that the, the reaction will be high because there are enough substrate to, conjug to conjugate the enzyme. So this means that the, the, uh, the reaction is proportional to the concentration of the enzyme. So as you can see here, the enzyme, the, the, the enzyme concentration is high, and then the substrate has enough, which means the reaction will be high. Okay. So the constant direction of concentration of product. The product so as a result of enzymatic reaction may be accumulated. This excess of product may be lower the enzymatic reaction by occupying the active seat of enzymes. So once they also the, the enzyme work uh, the, uh, uh, the the enzymatic activity are high, it means that the product will be will inhibit mm -hmm. 
ndi kimwe na inza yimise na hano inza yimifata Please mute your microphone. Mute your microphone. Hello. Yes. So an effect of a concentration product. But once the products are high, then the concentration, uh, the, the reaction may, may be low because they don't have enough product to occupy or to take to apply the seat, the site of enzyme activity. So the product are made as more as many as possible. Then this concentration of product we we occupy we, the the active site of the enzyme. Uh, effect of substrate concentration. Then let's talk about substrate concentration. Already described as the quantity of enzyme. The reaction is directly proportional to the substrate concentration. So if there is enough substrate in sample and there is enough sub in, uh, enzyme concentration, this means that the reaction will be high because the, the the enzyme activity is proportional to the concentration of the substrate. So if there is enough substrate, they will also, of course, and there is enough uh, enzyme, this will be, we affect or will, yes, we increase the reaction, the enzymatic reaction. However, this is true only of the certain concentration of after which Increased concentration of substrates does not in increase the uh, the velocity of the reaction. Here we can see the this uh, figure is showing that uh, the enzyme enzyme and is saturated to the substrate, the Vmax it is high, which means the reaction is high. Vmax, you know what is the Vmax? So the Vmax is the maximum rate of enzymatic reaction. So in the sample, we have enough concentration of enzymes and we have uh, sufficient substrate. This will increase the reaction. So the Vmax will be high. The Vmax is, is an uh, indicate the maximum rate of enzyme, enzymatic reaction. So the inhibitors. Enzymatic inhibitors are substances which are the catalytic, uh, uh, in which uh, affect the catalytic action of enzyme and consequently slow or slow down or some in, uh, or in some cases stop catalyzing there are three common types of enzyme inhibition there is one is a competitive and non-competitive and substrate inhibition so for example normal reaction in a normal reaction there is an enzyme and there is an active site and there is a substrate so the substrate will come and we bind the enzyme and it will give the product I think this you understand because I, I, I explained before. So for the competitive inhibitor, For competitive inhibitor, uh, the inhibit the substrate binding will be blocked. So something will come and inhibit the uh, the something will come and bind to the to the enzyme, which will inhibit, which will block the binding of this substrate. So there is a competitive inhibitor. So competitive means that something else comes in and bind it to the enzyme and prevent the binding of substrate. Of course, this will block the enzymatic activity. Non-competitive inhibitor, it means that the 
the South Street, the South Street can bind, but it will block the reaction. So after binding, the to the substrate to, after the substrate bind it to the enzyme, there will be something else which will come and prevent this here, the product release. This is non-competitive, this is non-competitive inhibitor. So the effect is here. For non-competitive inhibitor, the Vmax is is low. This is the, but for the competitive inhibitor, of course, there is a slowdown or there's, there's a slowdown in the chemical reaction, but it may uh, reach to the Vmax because some, some will bind, some will bind the substrate to the enzyme, others will not bind. That is why it will slow the process, the reaction. This is, will slow the reaction. So the competitive inhibitor it works, but slowly. But non-competitive inhibitor, it doesn't work because, uh, as you can see here, it cannot reach the Vmax. But this one will reach the Vmax. The normal way, the inhibited, the, 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 this is the normal way, the, the green one, it seems that after a short period, it will immediately reach the Vmax. Sorry. <coughs> okay. So this is a competitive inhibitor, the data to active site enhance exists. So this is uh, they are trying to explain what I to, to what I was saying. So I think this is like you don't I don't need to, to read because I have already explained using the, the that curve. So this is effect of activation in organic metal ion increase enzymatic activity. I so uh, so the enzyme we activate as the substrate effect of time. Uh, those are the effects. So enzymatic activation. The fact is and the, the pH. So you can see here the pH has to really increase the reaction, the temperature, the substrate concentration. I think I talked about all these things. So this is the the, the, the summaries. Sorry, Akshara. So and yes. Yes. Can you please share the screen? Oh, you're not seeing the string, this, the, the screen. Yes. Okay. I was saying that this is light is one I was uh, explaining. So this is the, the narrative way of what I was saying about this. Uh, but I think you have seen this. The, this 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 graph. Yes. Ibi mna ribo nje. Ego. No no ibi ngi bi re ro ni ibi sabanu ra ni ibi mna fukaga. 
uh, you just say, and uh, this is the summary. The summary you don't have a gear. As you, you see here, pH, temperature, and surface concentration. But this is the enzyme cofactors. So this is the summary. Okay. Let's uh, talk about the, the radiation and the medication. For example, I told you about the, the factors that may affect the enzyme in the question. enzyme activity wait question please lecture. let me finish let me first finish okay so i told you that there are many factors that may affect the enzyme activity so remember we have talked about the protein sorry the temperature the ph the the concentration of a substrate, the concentration of the enzymes, and the, we talked about the radiation. So this the radiation may cause a mutation somewhere in the enzyme DNA. Once there is a mutation, and then it will affect the enzyme. It will change the enzyme. What that is called, uh, the, so for example, uh, DNA polymorphism. It means that there is a change in the morphism. So this means that on the, the uh, genetic material of this protein, of this enzyme, there will be a change due to radiation. So for example, radiation is raza, ziga kubita, ziga jenda, ziga hindura. What is called single nucleotide polymorphism, rad metabolism. For example, do fite mitivora malari. Yeah, me too. For a malaria, had a man enzymes. Ibi mumubi ukora. Awa shagfata ya me too. Akai metabolizing. So to metabolize the the drug, ni nzi mezi ukora. Kwa ngo umoturi injiye, owa metabolize. So ngo urinjiye, owa absorbe, owa di urakose and owa urana sohot. Ndi beta pharmacokinetic. So if you be in real, if you be in ukora, itio. The coronama enzymes. So there are specific enzymes to do that. And enzymes are very simple to metabolize in the umuti. How could malaria be a list of enzymes? A metabolizing umuti of malaria. So urujero na nohi jehava yoho radiation. Ichangu chini chini chikawa cha tu maza enzymes zihi induka. Tu kujiona vika na ho. Za metabolizing za za ziga hinduka ya muti nho vasha ku metabolizing za enzyme biza rangiza kuko enzyme zita koze wa muti unje mubiri ukawa kuninsh kuwe luko utawashi je kuwa metabolizing kuwe enzyme zi ukora zi kiza vasha kuwa ukorgo kujango zi metabolizing so concentration of the drug ikawa nyinchi mubiri kuwa utawai metabolizing icho jivi kari za tinga kuli toxicity ikawa ya tera Toxicity, the cardiac terror of Urozim movie. That's why some people are sure of community, it can never take us. No, the fit enzyme is metabolizing the yamit. So the enzyme is ever affected by may, maybe by imitation, maybe by temperature, maybe by pH. It should be meaty, you cover munition movie, or cover with the terrors. So do you get it? Madam Jumva? Yes. What yes. Lecture. Uh, I was going to ask you about the substrate in a inhibition. In inhibition. Was you talk? Yeah, I told substrate you. Substrate inhibition. Now, now, I told you once Cause... the substrate are not released, are not enough, enzyme in other are conjugated. Changos has been conjugated the whole gut. It should give us that to my reaction. It was slow. It you would. I didn't know that you didn't believe that. For example, I'm not competitive in the bitter. See, Joe. 
there's something else came in hari kindi kintu cyaje gi conjuga enzyme mu mwanya wa substrate here kama na haji kindi kintu that we don't know kiraza gifata ho substrate ya kagiye kiraha conjugating substrate tv iburahije iki gihe bisrowing reaction iyo tuzabona bigenze gutyo angose substrate z'ubwazo zikaba ari nkeye nazo bigasoronga reaction of course to attain the v max that slow okay and those are the difference so you can search this book are you seeing the books here yeah. you can google google them and read more about the enzymes yes uh, the inhibition cannot be complete where there is no any other enzymatic activity but only inhibition has it is all enzymatic activity nako ni mara kumva neza inhibition i mean inhibition cannot be complete where enzyme can no longer perform its activity completely cyane ugisubiramo ntabwo ndimo numva ikintu cyo kumbaza mu byukuri okay because ngo enzyme nako in in inhibition na bishobora ku inhibitinga activity enzyme completely kuko enzyme iteri byo kuri ira inhibitinga completely ira inhibitinga ahubwo iki kiba nuko inhibitors dashobora fata kuri active site zose ze enzyme dufite mu mwiri hayizimwe nke yazizasiga that's why the the reaction ishobora kuzamuka ariko iri mundi ya inhibitinga completely okay ko nko bona hano niba yafasheho nta handi substrate iruze gufata kandi ikindi kindi kintu wamenya nuko the binding of a substrate nuko the binding of substrate uh it uh, even though there is no binding of substrate enzyme ishobora gukora ho gato cyane sibyo ikindi reaction ishobora kuba ko twabimbere twabonye yuko e reaction enzyme ikora mu gufasha reaction kugira ngo yihuke sibyo ariko ntabwo brokinga reaction ariyo mpamvu reaction niza hakoreshejwe energy nyinshi na bibetse reaction niza bari ko byafasha imbaraga nyinshi cyane na kugira ngo ivyo ariko enzyme niza bizihuta that's why here if there is an activation of binding of substrate to the enzyme the competitive one reaction niza aba ariko slow itwa na energy nyinshi ariko yeah. as there is a binding of substrate there is no competition the action is away okay yes so, uh this this party and then let's take another party let's try to go faster with this one are you seeing this slide no absolutely not No. Okay, let me try to Now you can see the slide. So we've talked about the definition of uh, enzymes, we talked about the history, we talked about the importance, we talked about the properties, the classification. Now we are going to talk about the classification. Uh, of the, the and this is the market of the enzymes so the definition of this this we talked about property classification 
So enzyme can be classified using numbering of system defined as enzyme information. The system consists of four digitals number, which classify based on the types of reaction in the enzyme catalyzers. So you can see here EC1, EC2, EC3, EC4, EC5, and EC6. So we, <coughs> we have the enzyme that transfer electrons, redox reaction, you know, the redox reaction. So this enzyme I called oxidictase enzyme. So we have the enzyme which transfer the function group between molecules. For example, the transminers. These are called uh, the transferase enzymes. Those are the ones, so they are called EC2. EC2 are transferase. And then the EC3, they are enzyme which block, which break the bonds by adding water. These are called hydrolase. We have another enzymes which are, which are EC4. Those are class of enzymes. So these enzymes are called lases. So this will eliminate the reaction to form double bound. So we have EC5 isomerase, which are the intramolecular rearrangement. And we have the enzyme we call, which I call the EC6, the rigase, joint molecule with a new bond. So you remember the rigase in DNA transcription. Remember DNA rigase. I think you remember all of this. So those are the classes of enzymes. So in the market of enzymes from EC1, 2, 3, like that. So oxidative is how it will work. So oxidation is oxidation is the loss of electrons. And the reduction is the gain of electrons. So for example, alcohol and the transferase, they, they will transfer functional group between molecules. For example, exokinase. For example, I mean, the transaminase, you know, uh, I think he had talked about transaminase with you, or maybe it was PCL2. So the transaminase are the enzymes that are released by the river or in, or in the heart. For example, alanine amino transferase or aspartate amino transferase. Those, those are enzymes that are uh, helping the transfer of other substances. So they are, uh, they are uh, the oxoreductase. They are transfers, EC2, they are hydrolase, I talked about these. They are raises, they are isomerases, they are regases, and thank you. This was the classification. It's, it's all about classification. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, class, have a good day. Uh, this was the last... Uh, uh, this was the last topic. Thank you so much. So, I uh, will... Find out a, a way to give you an assign to give you marks, give you an assignment. Okay. And I will uh, for the GAPO student, please. We still have two classes to go because you, you you didn't attend the previous courses, the previous classes. Okay. So GAPO, we will be with you. I will be with you uh, with in the next two weeks. I think. I think you have time. And the other students, please find time after GACO complete the uh, classes, please uh, link up and find time for the cut. Okay? Okay, lecture. And I think you now you know that. The slides. Yes? The slides. Mm. Will you send those slides for lunch? Yes, I will send it straight to Sepin. Okay. And you remember? All slides and the previous ones. Yes. And please remember, I don't like a multiple choice equation. We know it. I, mean, I don't like multiple choice question, and I never give online cards. You don't? When you are uh, oh. revising in my course, please read it carefully and try to memorize everything. Okay. It's difficult. Okay. Then yeah. have a good day. Yeah, I will try to upload on Moodle. I try to upload on Moodle. So the slide that I use, I upload on Moodle. So.
I didn't use umudo. Slides you could use zira komere cyane. Ari bintu bya Vimax na compress na Mikaels. Eh bya shaka kuba nta ikintu yago zifite details, ntago zifite details about the inside. So I think this one is better. So I try to upload. Shana ka tije ho bya dufasha. Oya ntago ntunga kati ko nzayi. Nzaje mbaha kati bisanzwe ahubwo na crossing bibazo mwa akoze online for the past week. Nisha ko ndi ndi kujya ara. How everybody this ibintu byubunebwe byo kudakora ntago mbishaka mugomba Lecture, may you approach uh, the last thing. Yes, I will upload the slides. No, may you upload the, the cut of the previous cut, yes. maybe of the last year, uh, by last year students. No, I don't, yes, have by last year. I don't have it. I'm going to give you a glass of chemistry. Musa was a Everine in a doctor. Maybe they will help. No, I the last year I was not part of the team. Okay, so fine. Musa, Musa. Okay.